Today on Toy Shoes in Space, no one can hear you collect. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. And today, we are totally checking out the final wave of their Alien 40th Anniversary line. We got Ripley in the compression suit, we have Lambert, and then, of course, we have the Alien. Every wave has got its own Alien, but this time, it's an HR... Geiger, Geiger, however you want to say it, Alien, very, very cool, and the packaging, that old school Kenner packaging is some of my favorite, favorite packaging of recent years, it just brings back the nostalgic feels, it's so classic looking, and it's so much fun at the same time, to have Lambert, right, finally completes for the 40th anniversary wave at least, the crew of the Nostromo, so nice bio on the back, get to look at all the figures, here's everyone involved with making these figures, so thank you for that, and they are starting to hit Target stores now, so here is Lambert's barcode. Then we move on to Ripley in the compression suit. I will talk about it in just a second, it's okay. You know, it's not, it's not the wow, oh my god kind of figure, but it's alright. Here is the barcode as well and then we have the alien now like i said every wave has had its own version of the alien but this one this one looks so good in the box i might actually i'm gonna keep the box on this one and put it back in the box and put it in the old collection i like that it says giger on it too so that's that's really cool to me here's the barcode so this is gonna be a blast sit back relax let me buy you a cup of coffee right before something barrels out of your chest. This is a look at the final wave of the Alien 40th Anniversary series by NECA Toys. And here's all the aliens out of their packaging, and the wave is okay. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the greatest wave to go out on, let's be quite honest with you, but there's some shiny moments here. We'll start it off with Lambert, you get a very unsettling Lambert head, right? It's probably all the complaining that she does in the movie. Really nicely sculpted, I'll say that. I can't actually say that it looks like the actress who plays Lambert, at least for this version of the head, but it's interesting. You also get the little diode neutrometer Giger alien box thing. We've seen this before with other characters from the 40th anniversary line. And then you have Lambert herself in her space suit. Now, I'll tell you all day, with Lambert and Dallas and Kane, yeah, it would have been nice to have them in their more crew flight suits kind of deal. I'm glad we have Lambert, at least now. The, the Several of these have been redone, but this is the first time of myself getting Lambert, so I appreciate it in that sense. I love the colors on this particular suit. I think out of all the wackadoo 70s-ish space suits, the colors on this one pop. She does have peg holes on the bottom of her feet, and she does have a weapon holster action right there. The gun is done nice, or whatever you want. It's like a hot glue gun, basically. <laughs> Same exact articulation I've gone over for every single wave of these alien figures. These ones, a lot, not loose joints, but they work with you. Nothing that's really stuck. You can pop the helmet off, the two little wires right there, hoses, pull them out, and you can see Lambert. You don't actually have to take the head off to get the helmet on. If you want the more headdress, shower cap looking head, yeah, you gotta pop the head off, put the helmet on after. It's a little bit loose right there, just on this one side for this flight suit, you kinda have to like push it back in. It's not like it's gonna fall off or anything, but it's just something that has a little bit of gappage to it. The head sculpt, I do think that this looks like the actress, so in that sense, a lot better than the more cringy type head, you know what I mean? Next up is Ripley in her compression suit. She does come with grapple hooks, whatever you want to call these, grapnel hooks, right, from the Batman thing. It's okay. She comes with the gun pistol thing as well that would fire said those. You can't actually put her finger in the trigger, though. That's kind of a bummer right there, just the way it's sculpted. The other big huge bummer is that you're supposed to be able to put this down in the gun and my gun just won't allow you. It's actually closed up, sealed up, or it wasn't molded correctly so I can't even achieve that. So that's, yeah, that's not too cool. But hey, at least the gun is painted nicely, we'll say that. The white suit is okay. I honestly feel like this figure is a pass overall. The same exact articulation as Lambert's. You can see the differences, you can and basically in paint, and then also little attachments. The hoses, the backpack, everything else is mostly the same. It's really just the colors on the suit. 
I don't really care for this figure, if we're being honest. You take the helmet off, which I just dropped, it's okay, not to worry. The helmet itself, you kind of have to put the head on loose or you can fit it in there, but I just did it to show you. You can't slip the helmet over the head, so you have to pull it out and do all that kind of stuff and then push the head back down. I don't really think that this is a great Sigourney Weaver head portrait. I do think that Sigourney Weaver has a very interesting face and sometimes it always doesn't translate best to plastic, we'll just say that. But overall, while it's, it's not a bad figure, but having the problem with the gun, having it be kind of lackluster in the sense of, this is not really a figure that I really wanted for the 40th anniversary line, she's just okay. But I feel like for the final wave, this is the big show right here. Now I have a ton of NECA aliens, too many, right? We'll just say that. Comes with a really cool, the paint is what sells this for me, really cool face hunger. Of course, it's got the bendy wire tail. But yeah, with the paint details and everything, they actually made it look like H.R. Giger artwork. I love the smokiness aspect of it. I would absolutely love if NECA Toys tackled an actual H.R. Giger alien line or had it look like the artwork or just did toys based on his wackadoo artwork. I think that would be cool. McFarlane Toys did something way back in the day. What was it, like 2004, I think it was, something like that. I would love to see going forward. I'm a, I'll be honest, I'm a bit aliened out in the sense of bring on more Kenner-inspired aliens all day. This, unless they do Dallas or Kane or Lambert in their more flight suits, I'm really good on the original Alien movie. These were really fun, to, really a great line to collect. So I'm alien out in that sense, but if you really wanted to go inspired artwork by H.R. Giger, like go that route and do wacky do crazy looking alien lines, NECA, I would love that. That would be fantastic to see. And that's why this particular alien works for me so well. It's my new favorite alien. And I say that every wave, but I really mean it this time. <laughs> Just the look of it, the smoky grays, the browns, the absence of color with the odd end blacks and grays and everything put in there. There's even splotches of very light blush red, you know what I mean? The articulation is the exact same that you've seen on Aliens over and over and over again. I like the little mouth that comes out so you can make it look like the H.R. Giger artwork. The arms are a little stuck, we'll just say. Go easy on the arms, but everything else moves nicely, so you don't have, I, actually I didn't have any problems with it, but in the arms, heat them up, do something, just go on safely, safe side. You got toe articulation, the tail is a bendy wire, but it's really just the look. I love the smokiness of the dome, it just looks so cool. So, yeah, new favorite alien figure right here. <laughs> To go over the totality of the 40th anniversary line, I do think that NECA really achieves something nice here. If you'd never collected another alien line, I do think that you would be set. Now, likeness rights and everything aside, you do get to make the full crew of the Nostromo. So to start it off with Kane, and by the way, I have videos on all the waves if you want to see these more in depth, but Kane came out pretty cool. I love all the instruments that he comes with. To move on to Dallas, Dallas I really would prefer more in the crew flight suit sort of deal costume that he's wearing. Normal clothes outside of the space suit. Brett is honestly one of the main highlights of this wave. Fantastic all the way around. I think it really captures the look of the actor. I love the shirt, the colors, the bomber jacket, the hat. It all works. Likewise with Parker. Parker and Brett are the two main standouts. They are incredible looking action figures and they did such a good job just really mimicking the look of these actors. Kane, it works. I understand again, likeness rights and all that kind of stuff. And I do like that he comes with the extra head portrait that has the face hugger on him. But if you could one day give us Kane, it, you know, full on <laughs> baby xenomorph popping out of his chest, you know what I mean? That would be really fantastic. And then you have Lambert. Well, Lambert to me in that movie is just the worst. I don't dislike the actress in any way, shape, or form. I'm just saying the portrayal, just the weaseliness of that character 
is just like, you want to see her go. <laughs> She's just the worst in the movie. But NECA, I think, did a great job in capturing her likeness. And again, throwing her more into the everyday clothes outside the spacesuit would be ideal. The bummer of the line, if there has to be one, is Ripley in the compression suit. Don't really care for the head portrait. The suit really doesn't do much for me. And on mine, the weapon is non-functional. So that's a skip for me, unless you're a completionist, of course. And then Ripley herself from Wave 1. I like this figure. Again, I'm going to say Scorny Weaver kind of has one of those faces where it's kind of hard to capture. I don't know what it is. But, you know, one little line off, one little smooth texture, wrinkle, something like that can throw off an actor's likeness. While it's not terrible, I do like this figure and I think she works really well, being that the costume that she's in for this works. And of course, good old Jonesy. You can't go wrong with Jonesy and I love the cat carrier, the space cat carrier, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it just works so well. On the evil side of the movie, we have the alien. Four aliens, to be exact. And, like I said, each wave got their own version of the alien. And while, I mean, what are you going to do? How many times can you do alien? I think they did actually a really great job. Again, I said the new H.R. Giger alien is my favorite, but I really like this blood-splattered one, too. Even though it's not from the movie, it's still pretty dang cool. Then you have the prototype suit. Hey, this is what the alien could have looked like before they spray painted it black. I think it was a good call, but it's also nice to see the genesis of the alien. And then the H.R. Giger one all day, hands down. I'll say if you get any from this new last line, please get the H.R. Giger alien. This is awesome. And then you have the alien itself. I've had a million different types of these NECA toys as aliens. It's not, wow, it's incredible. You're getting it for the packaging, for the Kenner-inspired old school packaging. So you're not really missing much, but it's still a nicely done alien character if you don't have one. So that really wraps it up for my look at the entirety of the new NECA Toys Alien 40th Anniversary line, specifically the final wave, wave four. Hands down, it's a great line of toys. Get them all, I would say, if you're a completionist, get them all. If you're not, you can skip a few here and there. But it's nice to get the crew of the Nostromo, however we can get it. So in that sense, I think they nailed it. There's some wonkiness with joints. There's a lot of reuse, a lot of repackaging, of course. But I think that in the terms of if you've never had an alien line, you'll be very, very happy with it. So I'm curious to know what you guys think about this alien line. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing them? Have you already grabbed them? And which is your favorite out of the entire series? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything alien. And thank you again to NECA Toys for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, no, 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 somebody, no. Oh. <laughs>